Hi, my name is Johnny Foremaster. I am the senior manager of the Ground Control and Headliner Experience Department at Insomniac. The Ground Control team as it stands today is sitting at just over 1,300 active team members. Some of our team members have been working with Ground Control at EDC Las Vegas for the past five, six years and have made it a part of their lives every year to come help their fellow headliners at EDC. I think this is part of what the EDC community is all about. We've been involved in the festivals in Mexico, in the UK, in India, in China, and just really been involved in, in Insomniac's expansion over the years as well. Ground Control is Insomniac's guardian angels. It's our in-house harm reduction team, a group of ravers helping ravers, festival goers helping festival goers. We've often been called the world's largest group of rave moms and dads. <laughs> it's a group of people who really come together out of a sense of collective compassion to take care of the Insomniac community, to embrace the values of plur culture and everything that's powerful about Insomniac's community of headliners. Ground Control started in 2011. There was a real collective melding of minds to try and assess what can we do as a community, as a culture, to look out for people who need help, to proactively look for those who maybe aren't doing okay, who need a helping hand, who need that extra support, and encourage them that it's okay to ask for help, and that it's okay to not be okay. One of the most impactful things that, that I've seen is the outreach of Ground Control. When, when headliners know who Ground Control is and really what, what we really stand for and what we're here to do and what our mission is, they're not afraid to approach us when they need something. Uh, and I think that's the biggest challenge to overcome is that as Insomniac continues to grow and evolve and enter new festival markets, we're, we consistently want everybody to understand what Ground Control is and what we're here to do because it really is true. We care about the headliners. We want everybody to be okay at our shows. We want people to know that it's okay to ask for help, that it's okay to not be okay, that we're not gonna get you in trouble. That's not what we're here to do. We wanna make sure that you are having fun, that you're staying safe, and that you get home at the end of the weekend. So the more that we can really push that message of what ground control is, really as ambassadors of Insomniac, as guardian angels that are hundreds strong roaming through the festival grounds, that you know that if you see any of Insomniac's guardian angels in purple, that they're here to help, and they're here to make sure that you have a great time and that you stay safe. I think one of our favorite features is the Ground Control Oasis. The Ground Control Oasis is our headliner facing home inside the EDC Festival Grounds. It's a large open air tent, some nice vine panels, turf on the floor, there's some big comfortable purple bean bags. We really try to set the space to be this calming, peaceful environment in the midst of the festival because maybe sometimes you're not used to being in the middle of a crowd of tens of thousands of people with lasers and pyro and singing and bass and all of those things. So maybe you need somewhere to get away for a couple of minutes. You need somewhere to go reground, reconnect. Maybe you want to sit and talk with someone from the ground control team. Maybe you want to sit and hang out by yourself, whatever it may be. That's kind of what the Oasis is for. It's kind of a sanctuary space within the festival for people to come and just kind of decompress from all of the energy that comes with an Insomniac Festival. I think part of what makes Insomniac so special is that the real world can be a stressful place sometimes. And I think what Insomniac creates for people are these, these magical experiences that are just so unparalleled in what they can do and provide and the people they bring together and the community and the passion for it all and the dancing and the expression of self and life and all of that. And I think it's, it's a really amazing thing. And to have the ground control team be real proponents of that looking after our festival community, making sure that people are doing okay, making sure people are getting home safe at the end of the weekend, I think is just a really profound thing to be a part of. And that's the reason I've been a part of it for so long, is that I've seen time and time again the impact that it has on our headliners, the impact that it has on the team, the impact that it has on everybody. If you could really bring together all these different people, just looking out for people who need help and creating the sense of community and passion and support and non-judgmental approaches to just look out for people and encouraging people to look to the person next to you and ask them if they're okay, to look to the person next to you and really just be a friendly face and a helping hand and someone that's there for someone when they need it most. And I think that really makes a tremendous impact on our festival community and the world.